Hello, dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus. Thank you for being here. I see you now where you sit in both of these beautiful spaces with me always and I with you. There is so much for you to remember. I am here to help. We are all here to help. We've talked a lot about the things that are and are not true. At least the idea of these things. The more you transmute and anchor and receive and work with your souls and with us, the more you remember. Sometimes the more confusing it may become. And so this is why we are here with you to help you in this way. You to know that although you may have moments of being crazy, you are not. It is normal to feel out of sorts in this process. That's why we're here and doing everything we can to help. Trying to remind you of different things and to pay attention to other things. We give a lot of instruction and a lot of information because we understand that it isn't easy to be in these different places, to be separate. But you are not, you are not separate. Sometimes it may feel this way and more and more you will lose these feelings of feeling separate. They will feel far away because the more you awaken and remember and understand, you know and feel constantly because we are always with you. That is true. It is, however, a process of faith, of patience. It is not easy. It wasn't easy for me. It's not meant to be easy. It doesn't matter who you are. Ask Gabriel. This is why we work together so much. Her, myself, and Gaia, this is very purposeful and meaningful for you all. There are others, of course, and you hear from them. But... because of her own journey and our relationship and her needing someone because it is not easy even for someone like her. Constant contact. And that is not just for someone like her, it's for every single one of you. Constant contact. This is what you can have 
with all of us. You do have it. And sometimes for some of you, it can be a lot of contact all at once and a bit overwhelming. This was also discussed tonight. So yes, you are able to ask us for a reprieve, a break, if this is what you need. We are here for you. We love you and want you to be comfortable in your journey. We do not push, we do not nag, we guide, we give messages. We love you so, so much. I want you to remember when you were a child and before things became too real and your connections that you had with the divine beings around you, your guardian angels, myself, Gabriel, Gaia, the animals and nature, everything, a wonderment, and connected to us in a way that was constant contact. Effortless. Effortless. Effortless contact. We are right there with you. It is that effortless. It can be being upset or disrupted or angry or fearful or worrisome or any of these things, judgmental upon yourself, shameful. None of these things you have to deal with and go through and feel and certainly not alone, not anymore. I hope that you know that. Whether you reach out to us, we are always reaching out to you. Nothing needs to be difficult. Not to a point of hurt anymore. Growth is uncomfortable and this is something we've talked about a lot. Growth is uncomfortable. Evolution is uncomfortable. <sighs> Coming to truths that seem impossible is uncomfortable for every single one of us when we had to do it. I had to do it. I was a real person just like you and I had to figure it out too. I was connected, yes, and I could hear things, and I could see things, and I could do things, and I could figure things out and, and understand things, but it took me time as well. It is not all like you read in the books. So much of that from top to bottom, from start to finish is untrue in my name. 
and in my story. I think none of that is news to anyone at this point. Lies have been told about me, big ones that mess up everyone else. And we are coming to a point, family, where more and more of the details will be coming out. Uniting everyone more. There is a reason for all of this. It's necessary. The truth is necessary. Great shakeups are on the way in so many different forms, all for the greater good. We all know it, we all feel it, it is happening. It is a beautiful, wondrous thing to behold, to be a part of from any aspect and every aspect to see unfold, to see it solidify. Webs, lives, souls. You are all coming together to yourselves and to each other and to us. More and more people understanding what is real some people thinking that me coming and speaking in this way is impossible and not real. Why? Because I'm an entity coming into a human body as a channel and speaking. That is so strange. Why? Why is that so strange? It really is the easiest thing to connect. It is true that not everyone has the ability to do this and not everyone should, quite frankly. I wouldn't give my voice to everybody to speak for me in my name. Gabriel herself, resistant. Of course, not anymore, but in the beginning. Not because she didn't understand, but because she was worried others wouldn't. Of course, that is things long past some people can feel the different energies coming in and through her and understand who is who before we speak. These are the speak people who we are talking to, not the doubters. Those who doubt have always doubted everything, negatively charged and in this lifetime will remain, remain that way. And these are not the ones in whom we speak to now. Even though deep down, they know the truth. The truth carries a vibration, just like love, impossible to fake. Real truth. This is what I'm speaking of. Not half truth, not slices of truth. Real, whole truth can be felt within you, especially 
when you're hearing from divine beings like myself or Gaia or Michael or Gabriel. The dragons. All of us different. That can be felt. Know it to be true. We are all different and we are all with you. We all love you. Just like a group of your soul tribe that you're going to meet and incarnate in the near future and just like the friends that you've had in your life, different but the same, loving you but different, giving you different pieces of advice, showing you different things, having different experiences with each of you. None of us can be everything. That is why we're all different. Being different is so important while we are all the same. That's what makes it all so beautiful, doesn't it? And make no mistake, family, being able to come to you in this way, knowing you in so many different ways, you will remember. But for now, it is such a joy for me, for all of us, to be able to speak, come share this space with you beautiful brothers and sisters. I want you to remember the true me and my true life. You know it in your heart. Not the stories you've been given, but the real truth. And you will. And I will help you. It's my story to tell and I will tell it. For now, the family, no, we are caravanning. <sighs> we are on a journey through the desert to sit and dance and love together, to be with Gaia and each other, to teach each other how to heal, how to be compassionate to each other, how to love each other. What it means to be connected, what it means to be in body. All of these things, so much magic to be had, to be whole, to be a part of. It is my honor always to be with you. I love you eternally. deeply, forever and always. Happy, happy days, my beautiful family. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being the passionate, beautiful, divine beings that you are in and out of body, awake and in your sleep and astral states when we come together, please remember, call upon me. I am your brother Jesus and I love you so very, very much. Good night. Until next time, I love you.